Hello. Come in. Yeah, take a seat. I have some tea here if you'd like something. Okay. No problem. Um, so, I'm guessing the receptionist told you, but just in case she was busy. Um, my name is Miss Synchronistic. And I am a licensed spiritual therapist. <laughs> and I know you don't hear about those much often, uh, very often around this area, but it is the up and coming new thing that is going to help many people, I believe. It's a good balance of psycholinguistics and also spiritual healing energetic healing practices so I can offer you some energy healing at the end of this session if you like but usually I start off with talk therapy this helps me to get to know you a little bit better and uh, yeah we can build some rapport first so let me know how that sounds for you mm -hmm. okay perfect so I'll just take some of your basic details. Okay, what's your name? Alright. Nice name. How old are you? Hmm. Alright. Usually at your age there is a lot going on. Yes. So I, I'm wondering what's going on for you. Is it hormonal? Is it physical? I.e. your environment or your body or... What is it that you feel would be most important for us to touch on today? Um, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. Hmm, okay. So you're feeling somewhat lonely. I'm really sorry to hear that. Um, we all go through it. Yeah, we do. And usually, right, when we seek help for feelings of, you know, loneliness or solitude, when we put out a good prayer to the universe and we feel like there is hope, somebody shows up and makes us feel less lonely. So that is my prayer for you. So let's talk about some of the practical ways that we can go about maybe helping you to feel less isolated, less lonely. Of course, um, the spiritual aspect of things is important to know that you're always cared for, no matter what, and there's always help for you. But, of course, to rely on that solely and not take any action wouldn't necessarily be of best interest to you. So we'll do a mix of spiritual and physical conversation planning. How does that sound to you? Wonderful. So let's touch on the physical for now, since that we've just put out our prayer. In fact, if you want to take a moment with me, it's grounding into the earth and knowing that you are supported. Your prayer is being heard here and now. May you wish to be able to spend more time with other people, to not feel so isolated or lonely. Maybe this can come in the form of finding a group, a club, or just a person, a friend, a lover, whatever it is. Asking that the universe please open the way, show us the way. Okay. So do you have any physical limitations? Hmm. Okay. 
Ja. So let's start with the first thing you mentioned. Is there a reason that you don't want to put yourself out there and go and get this completed? Because that would definitely be a, an opening to your independence, wouldn't it? Okay, so some feelings of fear arising there. So, let's touch on fear pertaining to this. So on one hand you know that this would help you to be more independent, that's why you bring it up. Um, but on the other hand you're fearful because... Okay. Okay. Right. Hmm. So I'm hearing two things there that we could maybe delve even deeper into uh, with some energy healing. I don't want to bring up too many things today in this session. I think we've already gotten to a good root cause of some reason why you feel physically limited. That's one of the reasons why you're not necessarily willing to break out of this isolation spell, is that correct? Right, yeah. There seems to be less opportunity, yeah. But I think if we cover the fears surrounding the money and the mistreatment from other people, the lack of trust that other people are going to help us to reach our goals, for example, um, we can clear the way. Spirit can help us to clear the way whilst we clear the way for you to find those opportunities. That makes sense? All right, good. So what I'm going to get you to do is actually stand up. Because when you're standing up, you're, you're very much uh, in your power. Now, I do want you to feel relaxed during this energy healing session. Um, but I want you to imagine whilst we're going through this energy healing session that you're actually standing in the place you want to be. And as I'm going through and sending you some energy lights, some healing remedies. I like to use my hands to send you energy and open your energy centers with voice and a few other different modalities like ASMR to help you feel comforted. I want you to imagine that you're already in a good place with these things that you know are holding you back. You've overcome some of this lack of trust. You've overcome these feelings of scarcity. And now, when you stand up in just a moment, you're feeling in your power. You're imagining what it looks like for you to have accomplished the healing of these things and no longer be in isolation, no longer be feeling so much loneliness. Do you think you can do that? I love your spirit. I know that it's always going to kind of require some work and effort, but if you keep up that spirit, then this will definitely be able to help you open the way for you. Um, that's really all it takes. We, we put out our hand and we let the universe guide us. Okay. So if you could stand up for me. All right. So you're currently standing on both of your feet. Your posture is perfect. You look strong and confident. Okay, loving it. All starts with the posture and the body language. Yeah. So I just want you to relax your shoulders. If you don't mind, I'm just going to place my hands on the other side. nice steady breath here. I just want you to release any of that tension you're carrying out through your root, so your pelvic floor. I 
going to release your pelvic floor in this moment and you'll feel some of that go into your feet as well helping you to ground a bit more good now release your your brow good if you can you can just loosen your jaw just slightly with your chin, just just up a little. Yeah, perfect. All right. The whole time, if you can, whilst I'm performing this energy healing, sending this light and love into you, into your aura, into your energetic field, and clearing through some of the stagnancy. It's just breathe and imagine a piece of delicate silk above your head, string silk perhaps, the most beautiful string you've ever seen, <laughs> is holding you up, nice and strong, and your feet there, feeling connected to the nurture of Mother Earth. Okay. I'm going to start with some light language. And this is going to help to clear specifically some of your fears around money and scarcity and some of your fears around other people and a lack of trust maybe some of that social anxiety can be released from your third, second and first chakra as well as the money scarcity beliefs okay so I may just start here Third eye, yeah? Alright, you just close your eyes if you like. You can keep them open if it makes you feel more grounded. Scanning. Where to start? Okay. So I'm actually in between your solar and sacral. Bit of tightness there. So I'm just going to reverse clockwise, take out some of that energy. of this cosmic love language into your sacral and I want you to really feel and amplify this love that you're about to receive around your sacral and solar really feel the love that you have for these things that are actually standing in your way behind some of that blockage is a trust behind some of those fears is a deeper knowing yeah, life has your back. So tap into that right now if you can do so and I'll send you some I feel that already something is cleared. There's quite a lot to work on here. So I'm just going to work here for the next little while. Pulling out. Pulling out and also pushing back in what wants to stay. Pulling out what wants to leave. Any of those tingles or those sensations that you feel, let them flow, express them if you like with me. I can amplify the healing. Yeah, I'm a day 
this form of Reiki and light language, sound healing, energy healing, can actually work on some of the deepest layers of your bodies, your emotional, for example, and help to draw out anything that is stagnant there. So if you feel an emotion coming up, if you do feel some sensation or a memory arise, just allow for it to be there and express it if you like, or breathe through it, transmute it, whatever you feel is best, you can transmute it by bringing through some of, amplifying some more of this light that I'm sending to you, so feeling into this moment, knowing that your healing, for example, can help to transmute some of the pain that arises, because sometimes we have to relive it, some of these traumas that we've stored in there from childhood. We have to relive it, so just accept it when it comes up, acknowledge it when it comes up, and then amplify the love that you're receiving from me, but from inside of you, because this healing isn't just from me, this is also from your heart as well. So you help this healing to go the way it needs to go, by amplifying it with your own love, allowing for this love to penetrate you on the deepest level, keep Allowing, allowing, accepting, acknowledging, amplifying, okay? Good, very good. Hmm, very good, that was a good one. Faharis kurish kanga shikharengish karuku shikula shikaram. What do you feel is arising there? Okay. Shikarusha makarush kayuku. Yep. Okay. Come back to your center. Stand that extra bit taller. Allow that judgment to release. Vo washa nakaru fekerasa shikulu kunakarisha. As well as programming this lower half of our bodies, we also need to program the top, you know, some of the beliefs that are getting in there and the things you're telling yourself over and over again on loop. We're just clearing through that, okay? Ve was fakanjishikare. Your soul group is here working with you through this cosmic language, by the way. This is not just something you and I are doing, but the whole of your team, so to speak, is helping with this process. So just really allowing that fear and that isolation that loneliness, that mistrust, all of it. You're telling yourself here and now, you're letting it go. And anytime it comes up again in the future, you're letting it go. Letting it go. Letting it go. Letting it go. Showing it the door. Okay? This is going to help speed up your process. But there is patience to be sure in this. Just be, just be patient. Okay? But know that you can speed up this process by showing it the door anytime it arises, okay? So, I'm just going to whisper in your ears now. I don't really want you to take in these words. They are going to be in another language. You may not understand them, but just know that they are moving through some of the deeper layers, okay? Okay, so they are giving you some direct instructions 
in this next week after this session. Take time for rest, take time for breath, take time for water, drinking water, getting outside in nature and eating as healthily as you can. Fitness and health is important. Yeah, awesome. And I want for you so that you can feel like progress is physically being made as well um, with this isolation and loneliness aspect to at least have researched, found somewhere, just have spoken to someone about this plan you had in the beginning that's going to help you to feel less isolated and lonely Okay, so that means going to a center where you can go and get what you need. Um, being able to drive, for example, is going to help this a lot. Going on the bus somewhere, getting on a train, buying a bicycle, whatever it takes to make it so that you can feel less isolated, less lonely. This week, I want you to at least be researching that. Okay, do you think you can do that? We'll just do baby steps, no need to rush. It's, it's a healing process and I know that you've struggled to want to leave the house. We're just doing this one thing. Whatever you choose, whatever mode of transport you choose, and just going somewhere by yourself, feeling that independence again. So that's going to take a commitment. <laughs> Just know that this is also part of the healing as well. All right. Ishana Maya Keroas and the Nai Va Ayushana Karosea Ishana Makeruma Fahore Samanara Kero Tetesh Shakru Kanamakairos Taria Shanama Karos Verutu Mahia Sanama Verum. It's really encouraging you to believe in yourself. You can do this. Think about all the times that you've done this before. Okay? Nothing has changed. The only thing that's happened is you've developed a looping fear. And we're gonna we've cleared some of that today, but we're gonna continue to clear it. So now that you have support, not just from me, not just from you, but from your soul group as well. Okay? From spirit. Yeah, you must know this. Alright. So, I'm going to let you find your way out now. And I do hope to see you again very soon. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Many blessings.